This video was brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Today, we're gonna barely describe the history of our starter Pokemon. My Italian Greyhound. Yeah. My little sleepy eepy girl. If it's a Mighty Anna, I'm gonna kick you. Her great-grandfather is on the screen right now. If it's a Mighty Anna, I'm gonna kick you. We're both gonna choose what we think are the best six Pokemon to build a team, and then we're gonna battle. But listen, we are in a goofy mood today. Oh, <laughs> Do you wanna go first and describe these backstories? You want me to take it. Also, I'm wearing a band-aid because my puppy keeps biting my fucking fingers, dude. Dude, you should totally do something about that. But wait, I thought you told me before the recording, you said, Shady, you better just say you're going first. You better go first. Don't ruin my video. This is your bit that, like, I boss you around and shit. I, what do you- You literally said that! He's deranged. You gotta get your friend's help. You have to tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to know. So I'm gonna turn around. Oh my gosh, I recognize this guy. Yeah, I mean, we've all played the games. <laughs> this guy was the first person to find water in the desert. First ever? Found the first oasis, started open- <laughs> And scooping up some water. Arr. Yeah, no, that's how I drink water. It hurt him a little bit. He wasn't, he wasn't like, he, he probably shouldn't have done that. He almost died. So just to clarify, first person in the desert that found yeah. water. So it's probably like a cacne or something along those lines. Well, it also went and drank some water. And then it hurt him. It hurt him. That's very important. I'm really glad that we clarified all that. I totally know what that is now. All right, cool. Second Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, notorious burglar. Lived among those that could not speak English. Learned the language. Deceived everyone. So we have an explorer of the desert. We have a yep. deceiver of friendships and loyalty and trust. And then finally in the last slot, we have the planter. This Pokemon planted some of the oldest, dare I say the oldest seeds. Really? If you think about seeds, you think about leeching everywhere, this is the Pokemon. Okay, now let me ask you a follow-up question now that I have all the information. When we do this video typically on your channel, is there any guessing? involved for like abilities or anything like that when i what i've been doing on my channel is what i have been just choosing something for the video different like you can get an ability from any type when you're building you get an ability from any one with the same generation like there's all should, different we, should we do that today should we just not do any guessing and then just say if you pick a pokemon with this type then you can pick any ability from that type i mean i enjoy that a lot that's why i do it i mean check out shady penguins youtube channel make sure you guys subscribe over there as well i think we should do it all right let's do it I'm gonna take the burglar because I'll be stealing hearts. I'll be stealing one heart, just Kylie's heart. <gasps> it was comedy. This man about to be single, I'll tell you what. It was comedy, Kylie, I love you. Up front, we had a trap inch. <laughs> Ground type discovered water lives in the desert. All the context clues were there. The original leech seeder was absolutely a Bulbasaur. Number one. Original 151. Now is he the first Pokemon though? Original 151 would know. True. And then you have yourselves a little meow. Yourselves? Am I two people now? Well, listen, I'm trying to cover for you, man. I don't want Kylie to get angry. I figure she's you're always right, right. with you. I'm sorry, spirit. you say meowth? Yeah, that's a meowth. That's fine because I have a Persian now with any normal type ability. There's a lot of great normal types. Yeah, you could literally give it a slow start. Yeah, or truant. That's a valid choice. Or I could spin around right now, dude. Before we continue, have you ever wondered which Pokemon I could defeat in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Well, with the help of Squarespace, I was able to make a professional-looking website to show you all the Pokemon that I could beat up. And that's not all. Using Squarespace, I've also made a website for my puppy, Aerie, my friendship with Game Boy Luke, and now this upon your suggestions. By using Squarespace, you're able to make an online store, portfolio, or blog. You can turn any idea into a reality. I mean, clearly, come on, I made an entire website showcasing which Pokemon I could destroy with my bear hands. And I had fun doing it, too. If you want to hear the specifics, I got you covered. You can upload text, photos, videos, audio galleries, products, newsletters, sign-ups, appointments, calendar store dates, reservations, menus, forms, maps, links, files, social links, buttons, quotes, custom code charts, and so much more. And that's a lot of things you can do with Squarespace. And another awesome thing about Squarespace are the pre-built layouts. You can quickly and easily create a professional-looking web page to showcase your content. No matter what kind of website you want to make, whether it's something personal or for a business, Squarespace does all the hard work for you and makes your life way easier. And speaking of business, you can also set up an online course and subscribe subscription service. Whatever you want, the possibilities are endless. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're all set to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Nintendo to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So what are you waiting for? Go make yourself a website, and send me the link when you do. These are for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, Pokemon. Oh, I got me nervous there. In a land before time. Oh. These creatures, before they were known as pocket monsters, were roaming the earth. Okay, I'm nervous. Why are you getting me so scared? The next Pokemon! Toxins in the air. <laughs> I can't breathe. Why is it because of these? And they actually traveled great distances to Whoa. vacation spots. And then when you'd be on vacation, the air, I can't breathe. <laughs> 
That's what happened. And then finally, have you ever uh, defecated? Oh, myself? One question at a time. Have you ever defecated? Oh, yes, I've pooped before. Yes, yeah. Have you ever taken that defecation? No. And just kind of rolled it? No. Kind of pushed it up a hill? No. Uh, and then, okay, I'm going to push it down the hill now. Whee! And it goes down the hill? Yeah. This Pokemon was the first to ever do it. What did the first Pokemon do again? Did he pioneer? In a land before That's time. Right. <laughs> So here's the problem with that one. I see Grottle and I think Sarah from Land Before Time. Like that's my immediate, and you're from oh. Long Island. You're Italian. Baba da booby. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the first one. Wow, so that, a Land Before Time, is a little Rampardos? It's not Tyrant, right? Yes, that's what it, no. Or is it Craniados? No, little cr blue guy, Craniados, Craniados. Okay, Craniados. Okay, so I got a rock type. Yeah, you can pick any ability now you want, because that's how we do things here on the Nintendo channel, subscribe. When you pick a Pokemon, right? Yeah. You can then give that Pokemon any ability from a Pokemon that shares the same type. Right, that's how you do it on your channel. Definitely nowhere else. I'm the one that invented that. It's really funny. No one else came up with that idea. Not Shady Penguin. You actually don't know the levels you're crossing right now because my friend group does this same exact shtick all the time and they gaslight the heck out of me. And it's like, just give me a little credit here. It was Shady's idea. All right, everybody show love to Shady in the comments down <laughs> okay. below. You got a cat, I got a dino. I'm gonna turn around. Hold on, and hold on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Usain Bolt. Alolan Grimer in the middle. Dude, I thought it was going to be a wheezy, Alolan Wheezing or Glare and Wheezing. I would have been sad. You were kind of in the right boat there, sailing along. And then on the right, you had the Dung Beetle guy, Rabska. The second you said boop, I said no. Yeah, let me get a cream cheese bagel with a shot of poop. How you doing, boss man? Let me get a everything bagel. Uh, do a half pound of poop. Do me a favor and uh, <laughs> smear some of that poop on that bagel for me. God, I would never. Okay. I'm going to say one word and then everyone in the comments is going to go, oh, <gasps> right. Shiny legendary. Whoa, shiny legendary. That's more than one word. That's true. All right. Are you ready for your backstory, sir? Mm hmm This first Pokemon uh, unfortunately has a pretty sad tale. It is a struggling child. Its parents are always off gallivanting. They love their work. It's very energetic, entertaining work. They're in the entertainment industry. So we're looking at a movie star, maybe? I wouldn't say movie. I would say more like a circus. Number two. You know, there was this year, this one year, 1912, right? Everyone knows oh, this famous year. Oh, hell yeah. Everyone thinks that the cause of the Titanic crash was an iceberg, but it was actually... An avalug. It was something much smaller than that. Unfortunately, this creature popped out of the ocean, squirt ink in the captain's eye, Iceberg Ahoy. It's amazing how it could jump that high and shoot ink at that trajectory to get the captain. It can get a little airtime for sure. Right, right. And then the final Pokemon. Well, now see this Pokemon literally is found in the lullabies of children. Have you ever heard of Goodnight Moon? Of course. The last page of the book details this creature in extensive, extensive detail. What? I'm going to say that I would really like to take that middle Pokemon. Listen, I respect that. So your circus child was the grass starter of this generation. Oh my God. I also did a circus thing in the video that we did yes, for you. I was yes. trying to do a callback. Love that. The last Pokemon was actually a shiny Cresselia. Oh, I would have loved that crescent moon. Yep. All about that crescent moon, baby. And then in the middle, you had yourselves a Seedra. I'm sorry in advance. Is it a Seedra or is it a Sea King? Because sometimes you mix them up. It's it's horsey and then it's Seedra. That is a Seedra, yeah. I guess it's actually Seedra. It's going to be a Kingdra for you. Yes, okay. I'm going to write that down, in fact. So Seedra might be just water type, just as a heads up. In case what, I want to slap an Eevee light on it and just rock a no, water. No, no, I'm saying when you choose your ability, you might have to just choose from a water ability. But if it's a water dragon, choose your poison if you want. Yeah, so I guess we would pick the Pokemon that it is. Yes, that's what I always do. Yes. That's actually so funny that you do this too because I, I came up with this this Holy morning in the shower while I was cleaning my nuts. Spinning around! Shady, I got one word for you. Go ahead. Shiny? Huh? Not legendary. That's two words. That's three words. You always gotta one-up me. Starting on the left, the sport yeah. of boxing. Yep. It wasn't always a sport. Okay. Two guys might want to joust and say, hey, put them up, sir. You want to do this? You really want to do this? You sure you want to do this? Yeah, I want to do this. And they would fight. Wow. But the problem was people's knuckles were just, they were doing way too much damage. Bloody knuckles, bloody face. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. a sport of elegance. It was very primal. 
this Pokemon decided to do, we're gonna make a glove. Oh. And now we're gonna- You wanna do this? Hell yeah, I wanna do this. And now they can go fisticuffs without, you know, really damaging their knuckles. It's a gentleman sport now. In the middle, there were these little uh, porcupines. Okay. Papa Porcupine said to the sun, Don't you ever go near that volcano. <laughs> The son had something to prove. He said, Hey, Dad, you know, you always used to play by the volcano. Why can't I? Because I lost my brother there. And it got really real for a second where now the son was like, Uncle Jerry died at the volcano. That's so dark. But he still went because, you know, kids. Idiot. Not smart. He really wa He had a chip on his shoulder bigger than freaking, you know, uh, Chips Ahoy. That's oh. cookies. Bigger than <laughs> Mr. Pringles. So he goes to the volcano and he's playing around with a rock and igneous rock, by the way. And it starts to roll and he follows the rock. He's a curious kid and he falls into the lava. He actually doesn't die. He mutates and becomes a fire porcupine. I really hope he's a porcupine. I might get toasted. I can't think of a porcupine at all. And then finally, damn. I mean, let's talk about time travel for a second. Okay, yeah, I like that. Who needs a time machine when you got a time behemoth? <laughs> he's large and in charge. Everything else is beneath him. Oh! The only time traveling behemoth is Dialga. I'm gonna take number three. All right, you got a Dialga. Congratulations. Is it really that easy? Your Pokemon all the way to the left was a shiny primate. Oh. And then your Pokemon in the middle was a Cyndaquil. Oh, that's, yeah, uh, mm, that porcupine. Quills. It has quills. Fire quills. It does have fire quills. You know what? You're spitting in multiple forms today. <laughs> All right, let me turn around. Shiny. Again? Ooh. So on the left, there's the famous crime-busting spy. Oh, the super spy. Who goes, uses a gun. Okay. And he catches the bad guys. Right. Number two. Now, this Pokemon, for generations, was feared by the natives of a very specific land. Uh, they're very, very scared. Fortunately, vacation comers came through to this land. Alone. And, and, and they were like, hey, man, you don't got to be so afraid of this thing. It's pretty pathetic. But what the vacationers didn't know was that in some fan environments, this Pokemon Pokemon had evolved into one of the most devastatingly, deceptively strong Pokemon. Is that Pokemon a cat? No. This Pokemon used to be one of the most intelligent beings that has ever been seen. In fact, it used to teach class. <laughs> all day, and it would hop very quickly. It had the ability to teleport between classrooms. However, one oh. fateful day, he was teleporting, zip, zap, bop, boom. Unfortunately, teleported directly into the chalkboard. Bam! Dumbest Pokemon ever to exist now. I really thought it was Alakazam. Now I'm getting slow poke energy. Listen, that's the tale that I've spun. I'm gonna say that I would like the dumb Pokemon because that one really resonated with me. I just feel like it's a slow bro. Listen, bro, I'm gonna tell you right now, your first Pokemon, you already know what it is. It's Inteleon. The second Pokemon is a Sunker. Sunflora gets buffed in Radical Red. Yes. And the final Pokemon is a shiny slow bro. You nailed it, brother. You Ooh. nailed it. Yo, I'm gonna let you know right now. This is gonna be a sweaty battle. By the way, bro went to Japan. I couldn't catch a live stream. Everyone's asking me, you sent him his five gifted yet? You sent him his five gifted? Bro is in Japan. This is cat because I've been live three times since, but I streamed from 10 to noon and this man had to shower before our recession. I gotta get clean. But now my question to you is, oh, are we gonna do another five? So if I win today, it gets void. What are we doing? Double or nothing. Oh, so you wanna do 10 gifted. If I win, it's 10 total. 100%. Yes. Yes. If you win, it's void. I like it. We got, we got a nice little uh, gambling, you know, uh, situation going on here. I was like, not gambling. It's a test of skill, might, and wit. It's honestly all about gentleman wit. I'm going yes. to spin around now, my comrade. All the way to the left. My puppy, Airy. <gasps> my Italian greyhound. Yeah. My little sleepy eepy girl. If it's a mighty Anna, I'm gonna kick you. Her great grandfather is on the screen right now. If it's a mighty Anna, I'm gonna kick you. Airy, back in the day, was this. Okay. And through evolution, she became the Italian greyhound you see before you right now. All right, that's good to know. Sleepy, eepy girl. Little nasty girl. Sorry, love being a father. In the middle, there was a mongoose with a genetic disposition to an elongation of its arms. Whoa. Now, the issue is because of this elongation, the, the mongoose or the meerkat was not able to travel fast now. However, it did get a buff in power because of the said long arms. Okay. So it just started slapping and attacking and smacking. A slapping, smacking, attacking meerkat with long arms. Or mongoose, whichever you'd prefer. <clears throat> <clears throat> Moving on all the way to the right. There was once a little boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> The little boy was told, do not go down to the industrial plant. What? 
Every day after school, he would go to the metal factory and play with the metal because he really loved the way the word aluminium sounded. His father told him, don't go near that aluminium. We got a bunch of disobedient kids. The little boy said, screw you, dad. I'm in my rebellious phase. I want the metal. He fell into a vat of liquid metal and he came out the Pokemon you see before you. It's screaming steel, but you literally have two water types. I don't want Golden Go or Mel Metal. All right, you know what? Give me the milk. Okay. You got a Mien Chow. It, a zombie? So I was gonna reference the zombie, but then I was like, I could come up with something better. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, so I got a Mian Shao. Your other Pokemon, all the way to the right, uh, little kid, don't go playing by the Metal Factory, because apparently a Metal Factory is a thing. Yeah. Bisharp. Oh, I would have loved King Gambit. And Ares' great great grandfather, uh, a Zacian. I was so close to thinking that it was going to be a legendary. Oh, man! And, I and that is it. a true wolf. No one could tell me. It's a, it's, it's a hyena this time around. No one's telling you that. That's for sure. All right, I'm turning around. Speaking of around. Ooh, this Pokemon, no life inside of it. And then one day, a small Italian man walked up to the tree and said, hey, how you doing? How you doing? I know you're a tree, but I want you to be alive, okay? He took eggs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to um actually you in the middle of you. you trees are alive. I, I'm sorry. They're just, they're alive. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I'm sorry. Are you a scientist now? I'm just letting you know. All right. So the Italian man was a little stupid. Hey, how you doing, tree? Got it. Just remember that the Italian man started throwing eggs at the tree. Right. The tree came alive because of all the yolk and some of the egg stuff. 100%. On the middle. Now, this is a weird backstory because this Pokemon is not supposed to exist yet. Often mistaken for robotic form of oh. a great Herculean tail. A robotic form from a great... Great Herculean tail. And your third Pokemon. Uh, this Pokemon actually is on the run currently still because something that happened in its past. It's often hunted for the jewels that you can find on its tail and on its neck. Uh, very valuable. Very, very valuable. Thankfully, though, this Pokemon learned that if it just goes... <laughs> No one wants to go near it. I know a Dragonair cry when I hear one. Give me the Dragonair. As long as you know, you got yourself a Dragonair. Yes, sir. That's my boy, Shady P. What were other options? Huh? So you had an execute with the tree with the eggs. Love that. Sentient. Yep. And the middle one was an iron jugulus. See, when I think three-headed dragon, I think of the guy in Godzilla. I meant Cerberus, the three-headed dog. Oh, you've never seen Godzilla then? Because that, that would have been a great I've never, great I've never reference. seen Godzilla, no. He fights a three-headed dragon. That's crazy. Godzilla or King Kong? Who wins? Godzilla, every time. It's my boy right there. I'm spinning around. Do you recall there were the guys back in the day? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you, you doing? How you doing? Yeah, you doing? Yeah. That guy's opponent was this guy. What? He was canoodling with the other guy's wife. That's crazy. And that's what caused the sport of boxing. Can I ask a question? Oh God, I actually hit my mic. The guy that's doing the canoodling, would a woman find him more attractive? than the other guy. I don't know how to answer this question without getting in trouble. When he evolves, maybe? Okay, that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> <laughs> this Pokemon in the middle is awful. He's been awful. He's still awful. Always been awful. This guy was obsessed with Pikachu. That sounds so dumb. He always wanted to be Pikachu. He sounds so stupid. He got plastic surgery to look more like Pikachu, but it was a botched job, so he just looks like an idiot again, like I said. He tried to work out the gym, but his biceps didn't get bigger, but his hands did, so he looked even weirder. He's got ridiculously small feet. I don't even know how he walks. Some people like him, but those some people would be silly. No offense if you're watching this and you like this Pokemon. He's an idiot, and that's his backstory. He also has spiky hair and he looks like an idiot. Idiot, spiky hair, electric man. Got it. Uh, you know uh, hula hoops, right? Yeah, yeah. You'd like spin a ring basically around your waist. And yeah, you, nah, nah, you nah, move nah, in nah, a nah. certain jig way yeah. and then the, the hoop stays up. Yeah. This Pokemon invented the hula hoop. That's crazy, dude. He's probably so rich. Honestly, this Pokemon's name should be, let me mute you real quick, Hula Hoopa. <laughs> Hula Hoopa makes way more sense. I love that you think that that was going to stop me from knowing what you're saying. What do you mean? Are you that good at reading lips? That's a remarkable talent. Let me just look at, look at me. What'd I say? Do it again? I want the Hula Hoopa. Congratulations on your Hoopa, but you gotta admit that was a fire name. No, Hula that's Hoopa. a fire. That's a fire name. Your middle Pokemon was a uh, Palmot. I knew it. Ah, I skip. Oh, okay. Not for me, dude. I mean, Lieutenant Surge can have it. Not for me. And all the way to the left. Put him up, Shay. That was Makuhita. Oh, Makuhita. Okay, I like that. That's cool. Little guy, you know. So here we go. Oh, Vinny. One word for you. Shiny, legendary. Legendary. This Pokemon 
was sought after greatly for a very long time uh, over there. Yeah, yeah, like over there, but really far in that direction. You go to a different country over there somewhere. He shouldn't have been sought after because he's got a really bad attitude. And one day, because of that bad attitude, he just said, enough of this. I mean, we've all been there. Yeah, we've all been there. And I mean, like there was, ah, it was, it was a rainy day. It was just, it was a bad time. Uh, and he fled after the destruction. And he's been trying to blend in ever since, but he kind of stands out like a sore thumb. So funny enough, if, if you look back over there, look over there. Over here. Yeah. yeah. So back over there, there was this really well off child. And one day his village got destroyed. It was crazy. Oh, they're all interconnected. It's yeah. a multiverse. It's crazy. Started. So, so, so his village got destroyed. And now this kid who was well off couldn't even afford a belt. Damn. Yeah. So his pants were sagging. Yeah. So he's living the other life right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then the final Pokemon, funny enough, if you back over there over here yes yeah, yeah. so over there so there was this village uh but beyond this village was a tower and sat upon this tower was this pokemon often known for taking naps just because of its body composition however this pokemon had a lot going on in its brain and honestly holds one of the most destructive capabilities of any pokemon but he didn't aid in b blowing up the well-off child's town. Well, unfortunately, uh, the ability of the Pokemon, it, it only works in a certain terrain, a certain area, so right. to speak. And now, if he had been present in the village, maybe he could have done something, but truthfully, he might have been outclassed. You know, I'm looking over here, and I'm looking at these three starters, and yeah. my heart wants me to obviously pick the legendary. So with that being said, right. I'm just going to make sure I can make it out. My vision, I got new prescription, right. 2020. Give me the first one. So you had a Scraggy in the middle. Thought that was very okay. fitting. Lost his all right. Then you had an Indeedee, which has Psychic Surge. Thank God did not pick that. And you got yourself a Thunderous. Ooh, it was raining outside, huh? I almost want to say Lightning Bolt would have been too obvious, but a little bit of rain. I like the way you described that. That was a great backstory. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> <clears throat> me, 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 me. Oh, it's a singing <clears throat> Pokemon. Okay, I got you. <clears throat> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. <gasps> It's still your turn. I wasn't about to do anything. I'm just loading in. Wait, what? I thought we were about to start singing, but we still have to do your stars. No, I still need, I need mine. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm loading in. I was just confused. We had a good flow going of like, you are loading in. No, we had in. such a good flow. I messed up. Not only did it not load, but I also thought that we yeah, were- you thought it was speak it thy name yet. Just edit it out. They can believe me when I say that. That'll That's give them like, enticed. True. Yeah, this whole conversation's not even included, so I don't know what I'm worried about. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro, my eight inch schmeat this morning was just so did you know that back in the day, right. school buses uh -huh. were not always yellow? They were green? Yeah. Whoa. And they had spikes on the front of them to hit other cars to get the children to school on time. Well, that's good, I guess. They were also much smaller, so only a couple of kids could fit in it. A couple of human kids could fit in this Pokemon. Well, who said we were talking about humans? Oh, okay. In the middle, Dojo. Okay. Not to be mistaken with Gojo, the JJK character. Yes. Yes. That, you know, got in all the shenanigans in Shibuya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if this Pokemon was there in Shibuya with Gojo, let's just say there would have been a different outcome. This Pokemon's stronger than Gojo? This Pokemon, even if there's no wind, its headband will flow. That just goes to show he has a constant stream of aura. He's actually a menace. Okay. And all the way to the right, when we take Aerie on walks to the dog park, we yeah. always see this girl. That little, that girl is literally there. Always. One of Ari's friends, her name is Rosie. She's really sweet, really cute dog. Okay, yeah. This is Rosie. Whoa. I want the middle. You taking the middle? I want the middle. Got nurse food. Let's go! Which one? Which one? Do we know? Can you tell? Is it rapid strike? Is it? I mean, how would I tell, right? Don't they look exactly the same? Why don't you take a screenshot of it? Put it in Discord of all research while I team build so I don't cheat. Sure. Let me just go ahead and grab you a screenshot here. Bam. But, okay, was the first one Charger Bug? That's what I'm actually more. It excited. was. It was Charger Bug. Your last one. What was your guess for the last one? Roserade. It's a dog, huh? That was a Snubble. Oh, a Snubble. Mm -hmm. That's cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. We back, we back on. We should make a mixtape. That's crazy, man, dude. We're Dad's literally... being dudes, more like Italians being musicians. More like dudes with tunes. <gasps> Please, we have to, we have to. All right, here we go. I'm turning around. Dudes with tunes. New channel coming soon. Once upon a time, there was a princess. Zelda? This princess 
had beautiful hair. Zelda. Unfortunately, this princess pissed off the wrong witch. Not Zelda. A witch named Margaret. Margaret was angry at this princess for her beautiful hair. So instead, Margaret decided to turn this princess with beautiful hair into the large, heavy, stocky creature we see in slot number one. Now, this Whoa. creature does have uses. Uh, it, ironically enough, a different princess rode upon this princess once she was turned into this creature. <laughs> So a princess turned to a horse and then got rode by another princess. But not even the witch could overwrite the beautiful hair of this princess. My second Pokemon. Uh, honestly, uh, this Pokemon has a colored past in the business world. Whoa, yeah. entrepreneur. Definitely an entrepreneur. Uh, may, may have taken a small loan from his okay. parents to start out, but conquered the business world. Had a reality TV show okay. and even went on to be the I president. See. Yep. <laughs> Small loan is wild. Your final Pokemon. Now this Pokemon, unfortunately, uh, was a victim of the second Pokemon. It had a flourishing flower business that was unfortunately Whoa. stomped out due to some underhanded tactics. However, this Pokemon's parents didn't allow the destruction of its lemonade stand to be the end of its time. It instead went on, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully realizing its full you can do potential. It. You, can do it. you got it? I'm here, I'm here. Uh, realizing its full <laughs> You got it, you got it. Realizing his full potential, whether it is in this land or another time, this Pokemon has a path to choose. Give me the glass, Dreer. In slot number two, I think we all know what it was. It's a, it's a, whatever. Gum young goose gum shoes. Gum shoes, there we go. Uh, the last Pokemon was a Petalil. Yes, don't want that. And your first Pokemon was a Mudsdale. Oh. It's got like braids of sort. I don't know. Glastrier to me felt more like princess prince yeah, energy yeah, but than does a Mudsdale. Does Glastrier have any hair at all? Underneath its icy exterior, maybe. Listen, the witch couldn't see that. What do you think? She's made of magic? Have you ever played Glover? Yeah! I have it on my Yo, Steam Deck. If we hit a certain member goal during my subathon happening April 1st, by the way, get your snacks ready. Will you come to my house, spend the night, and we'll play Glover like all night? It'll be a weekend, of course. If you set a decent chunky goal, I'm down to clown. Ladies and gentlemen, will you buy me dinner when I'm there? I'll buy you dinner. I'll put you up in a nice cozy bed. Okay. I'll make sure there's no cameras on you when you sleep, unless you're into that. I'm spinning <laughs> around. So on the left, tiny birds. Like the game, angry birds, but tiny. This Pokemon. Right. Influence the evolution of birds to become small. It's the last <laughs> round, bro. It's the last round. What am I doing? Hey, this bird has a crazy haircut because it was tiny in the past and they used to wear their hair like this. Okay. In the middle. Yo, let me take y'all back real quick to 1912. Ah, uh, 1912. Here we go, my friend. They done said that the Titanic actually hit this thing. It actually wasn't a bird or an octopus jumping out of the water and squirting ink. However, they don't Done hit that, that uh, done hit that, 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 they done hit that ice. <laughs> done hit that ice, they done said it was sentient. <laughs> <laughs> I love these videos! Who okay, done so did said the <laughs> ice was sentient? Get that on a shirt, my god. And then all the way to the right, oh wow, what do you say about this? Big birds. There was a bird that would, you know the story of Icarus? He flew, he flew too, too close, close to, to the, the sun. sun. Yeah, yeah. This Pokemon flew way too close to the power plant's wires. Whoa. He hit the wires in hopes to become like Zapdos. Oh, but he So didn't. it's not Zapdos. I don't want to be misleading here. He actually just electrocuted himself nearly to death. It did give him a cool black and yellow color scheme. All right. And the electric typing. Yeah. But he ain't no Zapdos. Okay. I understand. I mean, the middle one is probably Avila. Could be a Suian. Mm -mm. The last one is obviously Kilowattro, but I knew that before we even said black and Holy yellow. Holy smokes, bro. I think I'm going to go with the Kilo. I want the Kilowattro. Okay, congratulations. You did indeed get a Kilowattrell. In the middle was a Hisuian Avalog, and all the way to the left was a Rufflet, which I, for the life of me, couldn't think of anything, bro. Dude, that was a really good description, actually. That's really, really good backstory. Thank you. Thank you. All right, give me my final... We're done. Now it's time to... Battle! Da -da 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 -da. I feel like I know your lead. It's pretty obvious. A dead clock is wrong twice a day. You don't know a thing about an Italian man from Long Island. Oh, yeah. I got no idea. Baba da booby. Good luck. What if I told you I was an Italian? Would you even believe me? I'm not going to say your last <laughs> name right now, but there's no way with that many vowels you are not Italian. Whoa, not Zapdos. Here we go, yep. Meowie. Get intimidated on that fake out, all right? Well, I mean, I might as well still click it, you know? Yeah, it's always damage. I'm not going to switch. How much will we do? Still solid. That's a chunk, dude. You're gonna get out now. 
We picked our abilities based we on did. the Pokemon's type. So, for example, this Pokemon right here was a water type when I picked it, so I right. could pick any ability. Oh, Whoa. come on, dude. I think a dragon Pokemon had Moody, so I... Oh, no, it had to have been water. It's Octillery, and now I'm Moody. What will my next stat boost be? What are the chances my red card gets spent into <laughs> you going for this, brother? <laughs> Five gifted on the line. What do we got? Up in defense. Lowered special attack. This is actually perfection. You're definitely a physical attacker. You got liquidation out the wazoo. I mean... Oh, what are you, I a prankster? So what? No, I'm just oh, faster you're just fast than you. Sin. Okay, that's that's valid. That's valid. Can you get full parried? I'm gonna get oh. out of here. That's crazy. Is it crazy? That was the craziest move I've ever seen in my life. I love it. Listen, sometimes you gotta know when to hold them and you gotta know when to fold them. The mailman's Ooh. here. This is a scary mon, dude. This thing gets extreme speed. It does get extreme speed. The question is, are you gonna hard swap out? You're not. See you later. I'm just gonna let this thing go down. That's it. I got one power off on a moody Pokemon. I guess that's all I get. I'm ready for my five gifted, bro. <laughs> Ah. That's actually toxic. Oh, I forgot I'm a ghost type. Hula hoopa. Okay, this is scary. Why? It's just a hula. Because a shadow ball is going to break my freaking neck, dude. <sighs> this man's just de-dancing. Going for the de-dance. That's time. crazy. I don't know what you did, but it's something tells me you went for a calm mind. I just went for knockoff. No, the knockoff. <sighs> Rough skin. I went with the rough skin and the rocky helmet. Already, my plans have been foiled. You're actually out here on a Thursday afternoon. I'm definitely trying some things. Go for the EQ with the attack buff. Okay. You're eating, okay. though. You're literally eating. I am eating because I will let you know right this moment. I'll wait till you're dead. Never mind. Oh, you're gonna wait till I'm dead, huh? I'm not gonna let you know in this right in this moment. Nope. Why do I feel like you got shadow sneak? Why do I feel like you have Shadow Sneak? All right, there's like there's like a buzz coming from your mic. I'm not playing these games with you right now, dude. Whoa! These games are not getting played, dude! You do have a D-dance up. I just figured you were going for another ghost move, and I didn't want to swap out to Persian because of the D-dance, but you didn't go for a Shadow Sneak, and you're dead. I'm dead. I had fur coat. That's why I was doing diddly squat. You were doing damage. Eer, eer, eer. I'm just hoping that up with a D-dance and E-speed now will hopefully sweep everybody. Well, I have zombie here, and we all know what move zombie likes to pack. You have fake out. Ah! At least the rough skin did a little bit more damage. Oh, that's a bigger deal than you probably know. You had a focus, Ash, now, didn't you? I used to be able to focus on things and not anymore. Look at my finger. Now yeah, tell me no, when it leaves okay. the frame. Okay, now look right, at me, right, now go. look at my finger. I'm flipping you off. Oh! What? Here we go, Meowie. Get out here, big gal. Wait, but you could just fake out. I could just fake out, but I'm not going to do that. No, nah, you would never, because you know that I have uh, inner focus. Exactly. You are right. You want cheese? What? You want cheese? Time. Oh, that's a Dialga. I'm very frightened. Oh my God, you're eating, you're eating. So you have a Dialga with any steel ability or any dragon ability, and you have the lefties, which immediately makes me frightened. Uh, who said? I'm stating how I feel. You're right, you did say that, I'm sorry. I know how I can take this thing out, but it's... I accidentally almost just forfeited the battle. That would have been crazy, because I would have left. All right, luckily knock I have off. speed, get a knockoff off. So we're going to get rid of that lefties. No lefties. Now my sub is not as strong. Oh, you're that guy, dude. I don't think you could take me out right now. I'm behind a stuffed animal, brother. I am getting a little bit worried. I got to get the hell out of here. What do I do, bro? Queen draw. I just dragon pulse that thing into oblivion. Good. I honestly wanted you to do that because I needed to scout. This thing's paralyzed. As far as I'm concerned, Queen draw, you did what you had to do. That's actually fair. That's valid. So now I got to figure out how can I get rid of this damn sub. Now listen, Dialga's not that fast. This is the cat. Guess who's back? I'm just going to tell you so you know. If you fake out a sub, I don't flinch. First of all, I'm offended that you didn't realize that I knew that. Okay, sorry. And I I'm going to be listen. honest. I don't know that, so I don't know if you're messing with me now or what. Yo, this thing won't freaking break. I'm, I, uh, now, what is the deal with sub? Like, if I hit it again, will it break? Like, I don't, I don't have enough information. You gotta do 25% of my health. I don't know how much you've done so far, if I'm honest. Oh, but it does stack. I see it what stacks. you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do it in one hit. I'm gonna throw up all my shorts. That's what I'm gonna do. Wait, no, people watch those. Don't do that. There's so many cool things I want to do, and now I'm not able to do them. I gotta do this. Come on, Janice. Please tell me I eat this to some degree. Please, Janice. That's solid, Janice. Oh, and you got the berry. Wait a minute. If you calm-minded. Oh. 
<laughs> look at me! Look at me! You're not looking at anything else! So, here's the thing, Vinny. What's up, bro? I could choose to be your friend or your foe right now. You don't have Encore. Surely not. Listen, when there's five gifted on the line, you don't know if that's bait or if that's real. I'll tell you I don't have Encore, but I have a something else. Let's let the cards fall where they may. I let's, love watching cards Let's fall. let the cards fall where... If you slack off, though, we are not friends anymore. I'll I will that. just let you know I do have slack off. I did not go for it, clearly. Yeah! We're back in the game. Why did I outspeed? You have dragon tail. You have dragon tails, dragon. You have roar! I was gonna click roar before, but I didn't. And then you slack off in front of me. I told you I was gonna do it. Oh, you're done now. That's it. Eyes on me. Okay, you have Mienfu. Eyes on me. You have an Urshifu. Eyes on me. No Eyes P on me. No P word, no P word, no P word. Eyes on me. I'm looking at you. No. <laughs> I did snag a little Flygon Levitate and wow, throw it on this. Wow, you did, did you? Well, that's just <laughs> peachy, isn't it? Is there any reason to save this Mudsdale right now? Oh, great. Are you choice? Just get rid of me. Yep. Doesn't matter anyway. Oh, a crit. Wow. That's crazy. That's actually violent, Dialga. I really hate that this is a Dialga. Why? What's wrong? Would you rather be like a Petalo? Zip Zap, I swear to God, if you miss. Oh, you're going Focus Blast right now. Oh, God. Frick oh! yeah, Zip Zap. Oh. Zip Zap don't care. Zip Zap does not care. Gamer subs, code Vinny, 10% off. I like what you did there. I'm picking up what you're putting down on a Thursday afternoon. Now I can do some fun stuff. Hopefully. Levitate, substitute, roar, Dialga. Where do you get off? <laughs> stop are you exiting this train? Because that's crazy. All right, now we can have some fun, I think. Ooh, you still got your terror, don't you? What? This is fine. Mommy's all right. Daddy's all right. No, they no, just they're not. Don't tell me they're all right. Weird. What is this? Yeah, you ever see that before? Woo! Oh, that crit matters so much, dude. You have no idea. That crit did matter. I will say that. I'll let you know. I've never even seen that move, first of all. I was a salt vest. <laughs> what? Say that still what? Because you crit me. I was contrary hammer arming right there to get faster oh, than you. With terrible. And then Stone Edge. Hey, you know what they say? It ain't over till the fat lady sings. I think she's hollering right now, dude. What is she singing? Skibbity boop. I think Zippy Zap don't care. Oh, no. I don't even think you have anything to oh, no about, man. I don't even know what typing Wild Bolt Storm is. I've even seen. What wow. does that move even mean? Wow. Do you have Moody as well? I don't know. Are you scouting? What does Wild Bolt Storm mean? I can't tell you until the thing happens that I want to happen. Speed boost. Yeah, that's right. Speed boost. That's fine. I don't know what this thing gets. Is he about the domain expansion? Who knows? Dude, if my freaking dino couldn't survive a hit, I don't even think Urshifu can. Well, the question is, can you one shot? Oh, no. Oh, yeah! you have... You have stupid, what is it called? You have you have no guard. That's not true. Then why is it that missing? I don't know. I'm just very lucky. We should hit the casino after this. No, I don't want to. Okay, here's my issue now. Fake out might kill me. Uh, first of all, I don't think it does. Even if it did, you have a slow bro in the back. I can't touch that. I think I would hard swap to my slow bro. Is that insane? Uh, honestly, that would be completely insane, yeah. I don't know whether to calm mine. I don't know whether to just click psychic. I'm sweating a lot. There's five gifted on the line, dude. Yeah, I know what I have to click. Oh no, this is very psychic. Bad. This is very bad. For I'm me. cooked. I'm cooked. He's cooked. Let's go. I lost twenty-five dollars. Next time we battle again, clean slate.